Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you the download and install complementary shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them, but all you want to do here is just go to your search bar and search up mod wind, like so. From there, you should see modinf.com here, just click on modinf, and this will bring you to the modinf homepage. From there, you want to go to the top of the website to discover content, and you want to go down to shaders. From there, all you want to do, you want basically to look at two shaders. We have complementary shaders reimagined, and we have complementary shaders unbound. And this is two different styles of the same shader pack. So basically, what we'll do here is just get both of them. Now you can choose which one you want, but I'm just going to get both of them. So for example, if you want the reimagined one, you just click the name. And from there, you want to go to the versions tab. And now you want to click the latest button here for the download of the shader pack. So for example, we have one for two months ago. Just click the green download button. And you now have the complementary shaders reimagined shader pack. Now all you want to do here is go, just go back to the shaders packs page on modern and you'll see another one, complementary shaders unbound. So just do like the other one, you just click the name and from there you click versions and now all you want to do is do the same thing, just click the green download button for the latest shader pack. And now we have both of them. So you don't need both of them, but I'll just show you both of them either way. Now what you want to do is burn the shader. And here it says I use Iris or Optifine. We will be using Iris, so to get Iris, you just need to go to a new tab and you want to search up in your search bar Iris Shaders, like so. From there, you should see Iris Shaders are dev here. Just click on Iris Shaders and this will bring you to the Iris Shaders homepage. Here, all you want to do is click the Download Now button and from there, you will see Download Universal Jar. So what you want to do with the universal jar here, you just click the button as well. But you notice that there's a .jar file. Now this is not an issue, but basically if you don't have Java for Windows, you might not be able to burn the installer. So you have to go to a new tab and I will have this website in the description just so you can download Java. But basically it is JDK24, that's the latest one. And you will see Java downloads here from Oracle. Just do a little click on this website here and it should look like this. And what you want to do here is click accept all. And from there you want to scroll down and you will see JDK24. It is selected on Linux, just select Windows if you're using Windows. And here you want to click the x64 installer. And then you want to click the download link for that Java file. And then you just basically just execute it. So yeah, that is basically how that works. But if you have Java ready, you can just go ahead and close your web browser. And you can go ahead and open up your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here all you want to do is go ahead and double click the iOS installer and if you can run it it should look like this and all you want to do here is simply go ahead and make sure it is 1.1.5 here. If it is you can do iOS only or iOS plus fabric if you want to add some mods later. But here we'll just do install and from there once it's done you can close the installer and open up the Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft Launcher, we will be able to go to the Shader Packs folder and copy paste the two shaders we have. So here we see that we have iOS and Sodium, all good. And this means you can go to the Installations tab here. So we can click that. And from there, you can hover over iOS and Sodium and go to the folder icon. Here you should see that you have a Shader Packs folder somewhere. Here it is. I have to scroll down a tiny bit. You should find a Shader Packs folder and you just want to double click it. Once you're here, you want to Go to downloads, you want to select both shaders and copy them. And you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click the shaders. Like I said, you can have only one of them, it really doesn't matter, you can't use both of them anyways at the same time, it's just, just for this video. Okay, so you should have in dot Minecraft shader packs your shaders and basically just go to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure iris and sodium is selected and click play. And this will just launch up Minecraft with iOS and Sodium plus the shader you have. Okay. So basically, once you're here, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world to show you that. And basically, 
Once you're in Minecraft, you'll see it looks like this, it looks normal. That's because you need to activate the shader. And to activate the shader, all you want to do here is go to Escape, Options, Video Settings, Shader Packs, and from there you have your shader. So like I said, we have both shaders here, so I can show you both shaders, for example. So we can start by reimagined here. It will darken, and then we just do apply, and this will apply the shader to our game. So here is reimagined, and it looks like that. So that's the style for complementary shaders. Reimagined, looks like that. Looks great, at night as well, looks amazing. So that's the style for that one. And the other one, Unbound, if we go back to here, we'll see Unbound, just click it, go darken and do apply. And now we're gonna switch shaders. And basically, it, it can take a while, it doesn't take that long. We have the same shader, but we have a different style. The clouds are more realistic. This one is more of a realistic one. The other one is more Minecraft cartoony like. So yeah. That is the two different shaders, and yeah, you can have both of them, you can choose which one you want to download, but they, they both look great, so honestly, you, you won't go wrong with either one of those. But yeah, there you go, so that is how we get complementary shaders for Minecraft Java version 1.21.5. So if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye!